Hey, St. Luke, good evening. This is the day God made for us, allowed us to see this day. Regardless of what we've gone through, he's not left us. Let's rejoice in the day. Make the devil mad. Rejoice. Even though your day may not have been what you wanted it to be, uh, make the devil mad and rejoice uh, uh, in the Lord today, for he allowed you um, to get through uh, the day. So it's, it's word and worship time. It's prayer time right now. We're going to pray a very short word uh, this evening. So I won't hold you long. But I want us to pray for those who are lost loved ones, those who are facing, facing surgeries and, and sickness, um, those who are celebrating graduation, those who are com convalescing, um, uh, at home, those are hospitalized as well. Let's keep those that we know names. Let's keep them in prayer. Add them to our prayer warriors. We thank God that when your name comes here and, and we utter your name, uh, there are a group of people out there that write those names down and pray uh, consistently uh, for for that name. We thank God that God knows and God has power. Uh, to help heal and deliver. So I want you to gather in your prayer place, your prayer space right now, and let's 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 lift up uh, a word, uh, a prayer uh, to the Lord. I don't know about you, but that that little country song uh, plays in my mind quite often. You know, I got several past me, and all of General Savior is one of them, and I like to I like to I like to I like to ask the Lord because sometimes it feels like as if. Uh, I'm um, I'm left alone in the situation. Doesn't I feel like God is just not there with me? And of course, um, I ask the Lord to let me feel His presence. Uh, and, and you know, I know I know He said He'd never leave me, never forsake me. And I have to remind myself that He's there, whether I feel Him there. Or not, because his word promise, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So so you may be in that mood. You may be in that mood where you just want to ask the Lord and tell the Lord to pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. And while on others thou art calling do not pass me me by savior oh savior hear hear my humble cry and while on others thou art called while you're calling do not pass me me by our father and our god we thank you for those who are gathered in prayer this hour this moment god we say thank you we ask that your will be done that your name be glorified in the words, the works, and the ways of Jesus, Father, let us see you in Jesus as he comes way down to pick all of us up. Let us see you able to heal, able to walk on our troubled waters, able to speak peace to our storms, able to save us from the guttermost to the othermost. God, let us see you as we study we study jesus father we say thank you for another day another opportunity to praise you to lift you up to glorify you father let your will be done on earth as as angels are doing in heaven let your name be glorified in jesus give us what we need to glorify you god whether it's an attitude, behavior change, conduct, whatever it is that will let the world see 
you in us. Give us this day that we need to glorify you. Forgive us our sin as we forgive others. And lead us not to the tempter, but deliver us from the evil one. For you are the kingdom, the power. All glory is yours. Father, we pray for um, Sister Hill's family. We pray, God, that they will um, be comforted by your great love. Go on, God. Comfort him by your great love. Those who are sick, God, we pray for healing in the name of in the name of Jesus, we pray that you lay your hands uh, on and you are heart fixed, oh God. The brother Sparks, God, Silas, I, I know you're able to. You're, you're a heart fixer, God. Touch, heal, and deliver in the name of Jesus, Mother Devance, and all those on our sick uh, list and those I didn't know the name, God, lay your hand of healing and make all medicine effective. Give the doctors wisdom and insight. Thank you, Lord, for victory right now in Jesus' name. Keep us faithful as we struggle in trying times. We say thank you, God. Thank you. Let us be like the woman with the issue of blood and all the things she had to go through to get to you. Let our faith stay strong. Let it be said that our faith has healed us. God, we pray for our young people who are celebrating now graduation and promotion and uh, moving to another level. God, I pray as they celebrate, keep them safe. Build a fence, a hedge of protection around them, God. Hold them in the very hollow of your hand. In the name of Jesus, look upon our nation, our nation's leaders, God. Our global leaders, God. Because we could actually live better uh, working together here in this country and on, on the global platform we could live better working together so Father send your spirit of unity start in the homes I want you to bless each marriage right now each family right now under the sound of my voice every home God in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus. God, speak peace in every home. Obedience to every child, God. In the, in the name of Jesus. We say thank you. Bless St. Luca in a mighty special way. Use it for your glory. We say thank you, God. We give you glory now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, amen. Yes, we thank God. We thank God. I want to. For a moment, Mother's Day is coming up, and on Sunday, I talked about the woman who had an issue of blood, and I said, I titled that thing, um, um, I'm going to deal with my issue. I'm going to deal with my issue. And that, that woman, uh, in all three of the Gospels, uh, had sat around with an issue for 12 years, and she hadn't just been sitting around. She was always trying to get her issues solved or resolved. She was always trying to get the matter fixed. But she ran out of uh, everything she could do uh, to uh, fix her issue, but she didn't stop. She heard about Jesus. And when she heard about Jesus, she said, I, um, in a heart, if I could just get to him, he can heal me also. And I thank God, I thank God, I thank God for that kind of faith. And I'm speaking to you about having faith in trying times and doing everything you can, of course, to help your problem besides whining and complaining and moaning and groaning. Do everything you can and then it's out of your power. When you've done everything you can, try to get that thing to Jesus. The sooner, the sooner the better. Today I want to talk about another a sister in the Bible and it's in Mark chapter 7 that I want to lift this text this lesson this day Mark chapter 7 uh, is where I want to go to to look at this sister in the gospel as recorded by Mark it's in chapter 7 
and I'll begin reading at verse 24. Mother's Day is coming up, and I thought I'd talk a little bit as we get ready uh, for Mother's Day. Mark chapter 5, and we will start reading. Um, in Mark chapter 5, we'll, that's, no, Mark chapter 7, we'll start reading that day. Um, the, the, the writers, and this is talking about the Syrophoenician woman and, um, her need for Jesus and what she has to go through, um, in order to get what she needs. Read in the King James, you read in verse 24, chapter 7, Mark, it says, and... From there he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into a house and would have no man know it, but he could not, he could not hide. A certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him, came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Seraphonician by nation or nationality. And she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not right to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. My, my, my. And he answered and said unto him, And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet, yeah, but the dogs under the table eat the crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And she, when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. <clears throat> and this just signifies and helps us to understand in a number of ways what a mother will go through for a child. A mother, what a mother will endure for a child. How how often has it been in my lifetime that I've heard mothers tell children um, things like, um, you do it one more time and I'm not going to help and it never works and they're always there. We thank God uh, for loving, kind mothers who have helped many of us along the way. And I'm not suggesting, <coughs> and I know that there are situations where uh, things don't go so well with mother and with children, but I'm thankful that, you know, over my ministry, there have been a very, very few, been some, but very, very few. Most of the time, it is amazing what a mother will go through for her children, for her child. It is, it is amazing. It's awe-inspiring, and it should be encouraging that when you got mom on your team working with you, you got someone that's going to stick with you through the thick and through the thin. We have a Seraphonician woman here, and this, this, this woman is interesting on more levels than one. One, one of the things is there are a lot of things against her when you read uh, the text throughout. You can read it in, in Matthew as well, Matthew chapter 15 as well. And you find out that um, um, the, the, the devil was against her, of course, because he entered her child. And then she was a woman. In that day, men were dominated everything, and a woman was counted as as nothing. But then she wasn't even a Jewish woman; she was a Gentile woman. Uh, and in fact, she said she was a Canaanite, made it like she was a black woman who lived in in, in Greece. 
but a nationality was Canaanite. It is believed that the Canaanites uh, were blacks. She got a lot of stuff against her. Um, the disciples, they were trying to get Jesus to send, to send her, to send her away. And you know, to some degree, it looks like when you listen to what Jesus said, it looks like Jesus even against the woman. And that's hard to say. But look at what he says in the text. Here's the key. With all of that against her, she kept on seeking the only one that could help her. With all of that, uh, uh, seemingly in opposition to f the fulfillment of her needs. Something that she heard about Jesus led her to believe and or know that he's a say this again something that she heard or something that she knew made her get up from her situation to seek Jesus for a solution something that she heard or something that she knew made her get up out of her situation and seek Jesus for a solution. Because it is indicated or implied in the passage that Mama had done all she could. Help me right there now, Holy Ghost, because there are a lot of frustrated Mamas who have done all they could and their problem is still present. Uh, this mother wasn't just watching her child be, um, be dealt with by the devil. She was trying to prevent her child from being influenced by that demon. Help me write the Holy Ghost. She was trying, no doubt in my mind, any woman who would do what she did, it her trying to help this daughter didn't start there. She just ex exhausted uh, her, her, her views, her idea, her ability, trying to get some help for her baby. She got up. And left her situation because she heard or knew something after she heard about Jesus that made her believe that he can help. And if when you listen to the text, you discover that she is on target. Now, I want you to understand that all of the opposition did not Mm, prevent her from finding Jesus. Listening somewhere, sometime we think this woman was black, we turn around and we think Jesus was white. Not That's not the case in this text. He, Jesus is talking about Jews as opposed to non-Jews. Jews being the children as opposed to non-Jews. There was no racial prejudice or hate going on with the master. This is talking about Jews, the clean, the holy Jews, the covenant people against the unholy, the defiled, the unclean, you know, which a dog was. So, so the Jewish nation was considered holy, set apart as God's own people, children of God. This woman being a Canaanite was worshiping more than likely um, perhaps something other than that and was classified as a Gentile. Jesus uh, goes so far as says dog. But there's something happening in the text because this woman, this mother is willing to go uh, the distance just since she can get some help for a child. I know 
so many of them I know and been counted so many who will go the last mile of the way if they can get their baby, their baby some help. I said her nationality was against her uh, because she was a Gentile. Uh, Jesus was a Jew. She was a woman. Society in that day was do dominated by men. They say in that day, but you know, Satan was against her. But one of his demons had taken control of her daughter. The disciple was against her. They wanted Jesus to send her away. So he could, so Jesus, Jesus sent her away so you can get rest. Man, you tired. And then it, for a minute, it looked like Jesus was against her. In fact, when she first asked him, he acts as though he doesn't even hear her. He, you, you know how that, you know how that goes. He, he acts though as though, as though he didn't, he didn't hear. And 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 the book says, um, she besought him that he would cast uh, out the devil. Matthew says that the second time she called him, she called him a son of David. Son of David. Which goes to say that she was not ignorant of the history of God and the Jewish people. She, she was not ignorant of that long tradition through the prophets and prophecies. She let Jesus know, I know who you are, son of David. Jesus says to her, I say, you know what? It's not fair when I got all the children that are hungry and needing help. I, they, they ought to get, I ought to fix them first and then come to you, but, but this woman with a stroke of genius, with um, tenacity, with stick to that her need, because it was a child, you know, nothing but a parent, nothing but a parent, especially a mother, knows, um, dads as well, knows. The hurt knows the anguish when something's going on with my child and I can't fix it. This woman gets up, leave her problem to go to the problem solver. She goes knowing something she'd heard and believing that he was able. A amen. She didn't go on a chance. She didn't go with if he maybe. No, no, no. She went knowing, like the woman with the issue of blood, she knew that if she could touch, she didn't want a, a long conversation. She wasn't interested in a meeting. She wasn't interested in a seance. She just slipped and touched. The hem of his garment. This woman uh, asks him, help me for assistance. My daughter is, is, is sick with the devil. And, 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 and Jesus act like he doesn't hear. And then she says, I know you. Thou son of David. And Jesus says to her, hey. What, what a, she, she cast off the fact that she wasn't the right nationality. She cast off the fact that he uh, seemingly dissed her. She cast off the fact that her disciple, his disciple, was trying to make her go and and and, and tell Jesus, "Don't even talk to her. Make her make her go away. You got to have some rest." And then he said, she, she seemed like the sister said, "Uh, uh, son of David." 
then he says this thing about uh, the dogs. Now, if anything else, this would have been difficult for you, perhaps, or me, perhaps. But for someone with a troubled child, it would have been easy to look over this situation, this sin, easy. Cause I'm, I don't care what you call me. I called you because my daughter needs you. I can't help my child. Call me what you want to, but you can help my child. Son of David, what a mother would go through to help a child. Jesus, she said, Jesus said, you know, the children, the called ones, should get their bread first before the dogs. She said, ah. but the dogs eat the crumb. While, while the children was still eating the bread. I don't know whether this was the genius of the woman or the genius of Jesus. Because it's a lesson. The children was eating the bread. But she says, not after they eat. Don't miss that. But while they're eating the bread and dropping crumbs, the dogs eating the, he, Jesus positioned her. Pushed her to a place, a place in her, in a place where he didn't have to wait to heal anything. All I got, all I'm asking for is a crumb. The magnitude of her faith, the width of her vision, she says to Jesus, what you're doing for me and helping my daughter is a little thing for you. It's a crumb. It's a big problem for me. I'm the mama. But for you, I know who you are, son of David. Son of the living God, I know who you are. What I'm asking you for, I'm not asking you to create the universe. I'm not asking you to feed the multitude. I'm asking you to run the devil. I'm a daughter. I'm asking you for a crumb. Jesus says to her, because you got an understanding, because of this sin, because the dogs eat the same time the children do, your problem solved. Mama, thank you. Thank you for hanging in there, for going through the adversity for, for 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 taking the knocks, for being knocked down and getting back up. Thank you for even having to bow sometime to be a blessing. Mother's Day is coming up. For those of you who have mother, mother may not be the greatest mother to you, but you be the greatest child. Jesus shows us in this gospel what a mother will go through and endure and often have endured for us. We ought to praise God for what mama will go through for our children. We ought to thank God for them. If they are living, we ought to praise God. I think about those who are burying mother this week Right here at Mother's Day. My, my, my. Our prayers are with you. God's going to get you through it. Think of what mama goes through. To try to make sure her children are successful. And are not ruled by the devil. Amen. Listen, you all be blessed. You heard this word. If you don't have a church home and you've never been baptized and never accepted Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, you can do that tonight. 
right now. All you have to do is repeat after me. Say, Lord, I'm a sinner. I need a savior. I believe and accept Jesus as my dead, buried, and resurrected Savior. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to own me as his child. Amen. If you just move in your membership to us, you've already been baptized, or if you're a candidate for baptism, why don't you go to the website? Follow to join us. Give us your information. And uh, we'll reach out and contact you. We welcome you to the house of faith. Amen. Till next week. Be blessed.